Since sine x divided by x is a quotient of functions, to take its derivative, we need to use the quotient rule, which I've provided here. The derivative of f of x divided by g of x is f prime g minus g prime f all over g squared. So let's use the quotient rule to take the derivative of sine x over x. For our function, f of x, the numerator, is sine x. So we begin with f prime, the derivative of sine. The derivative of sine x is going to be cosine x. And then we need to multiply that by g of x, the denominator. So we multiply by x, since that's the denominator. Then we subtract g prime, the derivative of the denominator function. The denominator is x, its derivative is 1. So we subtract g prime times f of x, the numerator function. The numerator, of course, is sine x, and rather than writing 1 times sine x, I'll just write sine x. Finally, we have to divide by g of x squared. That's just the denominator, x squared. And that's the derivative. There's not really much we could do to simplify it. If we wanted to write it without the fraction bar, we could write it as x to the negative 2 multiplied by x cosine x minus sine x, since the x squared in the denominator gets a power of negative 2 if we bring it up top. And then I just moved this x to the front of the cosine because I think that looks better. I hope that was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and check out my Calculus 1 exercises and Calculus 1 course playlists in the description for more. Ta -da.